Praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to Hope Chat, the after show on this lovely, lovely Amen. Sunday afternoon. We've just finished another inspiring worship session. Yes. The word of the Lord today was, do it God's way. Yes. Sister Nicole, did you have any comments on yes. Pastor Yes, you know, I always have my little notepad. <laughs> but he talked about we have to do it, um, church, a new way. And he talked about um, having a dream and seeing a baby being fed milk through a cell phone. And that um, we have to start showing um, the saints ourselves in a different way online in order to win the loss for Christ. They have to see us praising God and worshiping God um, because some will never find us here, but they'll find us on the phone. I thought that was interesting. Amen. Amen. What that's do you think? true. I think that's true. I and I can relate to that because I have grandchildren. Uh, I teach them Bible class on the cell phone, and they're, uh, they're babies. In fact, some of them are not even saved. So I give them the milk of the word over the cell phone. When, you know, whenever they want it, they'll call me, and I'll, we'll have it. That's awesome. You know, it's, it's interesting. I had a conversation with my sister and my niece, and they're like, Trisha's just so old school. That because I'm I'm one of those people. No, don't text me. Just call me. They're like, you need to come into this century, and I'm like, I use social media, but I never thought about how much this generation uses social media so much more than we do or I do, I should say, and that the the new way to reach people is through social media. It's not through picking up a phone and calling somebody. It's sending text messages. It's watching videos online. It's reaching out and literally the Lord reaching out through social media and touching people. Yes. And that's Amen. how we're going to reach this generation of people. Amen. Amen. See, um, Pastor also t told us near the end that we have angels fighting for us, an army of God. Our next is in God's hand. And um, don't be attached to what you've gone through. And then something Bishop said at the end, I'm not a survivor, I'm a conqueror. I love that. Right. Now let's move over to pulpit commentary as they dive deeper into Pastor's sermon. Elder Sanders. to our commentary today another amazing service here at Hope Assembly God just showed up and showed out and just a blessed service on today evangelist I'm, I'm just going to whoever ready you can go uh, if you have additional comebacks we'll come back to you uh, evangelist Renner what are your thoughts on today I love the information that was given about the cell phone. And the reason being is that during the turn of the century, everybody used to have to use candles or gas lighting, but God gave them the light bulb through Edison. And then a little while later, Alexander Graham and Bell invented the telephone. And then as we move forward, even in the 60s, we see a man try to go to the moon. I'm not sure yet, but that's what they said. But what I'm saying is, God said, I do a new thing. I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. But he makes provisions for every generation to testify of goodness, his mercy, and his grace, and that he is Lord. So I just want to say to you that think that you got it going on because you got the computer, because you got this, you got that. You don't have nothing because God made all the provisions. Take the tools and use them right. Use them for the glory of God. Amen. You know, to me, it's, it is exciting to come to church, to have a pastor that doesn't come with a book, chapter, and verse. But he comes ready to hear from the Lord, even on Sunday morning. And I shared it with him this uh, last week. I said, you know, it takes a lot of faith in God to do that because most people already have their uh, sermon out, you know. And But it is exciting to know that you're not going to come. Somebody's going to read a scripture. Somebody's going to pray. You have the choir sing. But every Sunday that you come into the house of the Lord, you're expecting something different because you're de depending on the Lord to lead the service. Evangelist Harper, what are your thoughts on this Sunday, beautiful Sunday? All I can say is who wouldn't serve a God like this? 
He goes so far as to let us know he's doing a new thing. He's showing us new ways because he wants us to be saved and he wants us to be delivered and he wants us to be there on that great getting up morning. He's making it so we can just reach out to the public all different kind of ways. Like I said last week, we just have no excuses. We have all kind of ways of communicating. I was reading last night about Paul. They had to take ships. It took them months and days to preach sermons. It takes us not even five seconds to give somebody a word. So we don't have any excuses. So we need to be on the phone. We need to be on internet. We need to speak you know, to people when we see them. Let them know who we are because the people in the Bible, they walked, they rode wagons, they rode in the desert. You know, we got cars and buses and trains and planes, and we still can't spread the word. Something's wrong with that. You want to be saved, do what God is directing you to do. God bless you. Amen. And just using our phones and using social media to connect with others and letting them see us, letting them see the exciting uh, life that we live, letting them know and see that this is the happiest church on earth. And with that note, we're going to send it back to the Hope Desk. Thank you, Pulpit Commentary, for your inspiring insights. And as we continue, we want to take a moment to say hello to our wonderful e-members tuning in from around the world. We are sending you all a special blessing on today. Amen. And um, for those of you that just watched Pulpit Commentary, Elder Sanders um, shared the testimony of um, the miraculous recovery that Sister Gwen is making, um, just that miracle. And when I was praying for her, the thing that um, s stood out to me is that I had a, a lot to draw from to tell God about her. So, you know, saints, it's important to serve. You know, I, I said, Lord, you know, this woman has bent down to tie my mother's shoes. You know, so, I mean, I just had so much. I was so just um, elated and happy to hear that testimony. And then everybody running around the church and joining in on the laps that he ran for her. And Sister Gwen, I taped that. I'm going to send it to you. But thank you for choosing Hope Assembly to be your e-church. We're excited to grow together in faith and hope this show is another avenue for you to feel connected with us. If you found our live stream to be a meaningful part of your weekly routine, we invite you to consider becoming a regular supporter. Your contribution, whether big or small, helps sustain the kingdom, the kingdom, the kingdom of God. Giving is not simply a way to support our church. Giving makes you a part of the ministry. And if you haven't yet experienced Hope Assembly in person, we invite you to come and be uplifted. Feel the power of the yes, presence of, yes. of in a li the presence of God in a live service. Mm -hmm. We're conveniently located right off the I-10 in Goodyear, making it an easy stop. We'd also like to encourage you, if you don't have a church home, to become a member. This is a place where you can feel a sense of belonging. Whether you like to be an in-person member, an e-member, or a mix of both, we have got you covered. Our online community here at Hope Assembly is very active. Stay connected with us through Hope Book, text updates, and weekly videos. No matter where you are, we stay connected with you. Text JOIN to the number on your screen today. If you're watching and you desire to be baptized or want to know more about your faith, we are here to support you. Scan the QR code on your screen or visit us in person and stop by the Salvation and Prayer Desk in our lobby for more information. On Thursday, October 3rd, we came together as a church family for our October telethon, mm -hmm. and it was truly a memorable evening. The dinner party was filled with laughter and joy, creating a wonderful atmosphere where everyone enjoyed themselves. We heard heartfelt testimonies that reminded us of the strength of our community and the unity we share in supporting our church. If you haven't yet had a chance to pledge yet, there is still time. That's right. Text the number on your screen with the amount of your pledge. You can give by Zelle, Cash App, or Easy Tie. Thank you in advance. We know that you will make the difference as we support our yearly church budget. During the telethon, we also had the opportunity to connect with a couple of our e-members. Let's take a moment to hear what they share. E-members, I mm -hmm. feel like you you guys um, supply a lot of information, and it almost makes you feel like you're right there. Sometimes I wish I lived there 
um, because I enjoy it. It's welcoming. It's you can just feel the love and the warmth there, and I mm-hmm. absolutely and I just love it. God is awesome. It's now you there. know, guys. We send videos like little hello videos every Sunday. Um, do you all enjoy those? I do. Good. Yeah, I do. I appreciate that people take the time to even make those little videos. I, members feel special. Catherine and Erica, it was so wonderful to connect with you both. We love that you're feeling a sense of belonging here, and we're dedicated to making sure that you remain a part of our community despite the distance. Amen. Up next, let's take a closer look at the week ahead, starting on Tuesday with our Hope Block, where you'll find a recap of today's sermon and discover how to apply it to your daily life. Wednesday, transform your life through scripture. Join us for Bible study, unlock the wisdom of God's word. Need a quick boost? Tune in Thursday for a 60 second word of encouragement. And Saturday, Sister Nike returns with Kids Global Class Cartoon, streaming at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And as you gear up for the week ahead, let us hold on to Romans chapter eight, verse six, where it tells us, the mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. This scripture tells us when we allow the Holy Ghost to guide our thoughts and actions, it brings us life and peace. This peace is not the absence of conflict, but a deep inner peace that comes from being aligned with God's will. This verse calls us to choose a life led by the spirit for fulfillment and connection with God. You know that last scripture where it said calls us to live a spirit of fulfillment reminds me of what Pastor said about, you know, don't just keep seeking me with a message, I'll give it to you. Amen. And and walking, you know, by that guidance. I mean it truly is a testimony for all of us. Are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Mm, yes, right. and, amen. You know, stop looking for a sermon, but he's waiting on the discernment for the Lord to tell him what to do. Yeah, I mean, and even when he was talking about, you know, just praying over everything and even buying people something that's meaningful, I said, you know what, Lord, even with my money, I'm going to start be- just being prayerful about everything. Should I buy this? Should I not buy this? How would you, How else would you like me to give? And just being mindful in everything and truly led by God's Spirit. Acknowledge the Lord in all thy ways and, and he, he will, will direct, direct your, path. your path. Amen. Well, thank you for spending your Sunday afternoon with us and wishing you blessings and a productive week ahead. Together we are the, the happiest, happiest church, church on earth. earth. Have, Have a good, good week. week. Dublin, Ireland. Oh, Lagos, Dublin. Nigeria <laughs> and Los Angeles, California. Yes. Jesus is calling you. Amen. He's looking at you and he's calling. Amen. Will you answer his call? And shout out to Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs>